The martial arts commenced with exercises. Taoist temples were established throughout China mostly by large landowners and or imperial decree. Often, these temples would be attacked by traveling groups to access the storehouses of rice and other foodstuffs. Temples of the day were established as intellectual houses to keep language, writings, and discourse important to the culture and history. One king decided that he was fed up with his temples being raided and his monks' inability to defend themselves, so he summoned a Buddhist monk to help this situation. This monk, Bodhidharma, found that the Taoist monks in such poor physical condition that it impaired their ability to meditate. Bodhidharma immediately began a program of exercise called, Yi Jin Jing Qigong, or Muscle and Tendon Changing Qigong. This later evolved into Tai Ji Quan, and later into the original martial art to better the monk's health as well as providing the basis for self-defense. I think it is important to note here that the defense arts of Tai Ji Quan, meaning to direct internal force to manifest external application, and the muscle and tendon changing Qigong, Qigong meaning developing Kai or internal energy work, were both developed to aid in meditation and concentration to achieve equanimity and internal or spiritual awakening. The objective of both in the mundane world being the de-escalation or elimination of conflict. Contrary to the club and group sport and competition application observed today, these arts were meant to end conflict and avoid fighting in pursuit of a higher mental state. The Japanese arts in particular have been very strongly influenced by Buddhism, specifically, Zen, Buddhism which was widely adopted by the medieval samurai. The samurai felt that by engaging in Zen meditation and meditating on their own death, they could fearlessly enter into battle. After the feudal period, Zen became the central point of the martial styles that now had the do suffix. Karate do, kendo, etc. This indicates that the art had gone from a pure fighting style, like kenjutsu, to a style that stressed personal and spiritual advancement. Most everything to do with traditional Japanese MA styles emphasizes a sort of Zen practice, the white uniforms, the use of meditation in class, etc. In China, we know that some of the Buddhist monasteries, like the Shaolin, became associated with certain Kung Fu styles. However, this connection is more political than religious according to some historians. Political activists, feeling the heat, from authorities, would enter the monastery to display their withdrawal from public life. However, they would continue plotting, and also training. So the monasteries became known as hotbeds of revolutionary thought and also martial arts training. Still, this was not directly associated with the religion, but more as a handy and secret place to plot and train. Depends on the art. Western boxing, BJJ, judo, FMA. Not related to Buddhism. I don't advocate violence and I would do everything to avoid fighting. However I do not believe the whole martial arts are for defense nonsense. Martial arts were created to hurt people, most were probably developed for war then were adapted and changed into different styles by soldiers returning from war and needed to defend their families and property or worked as some form of security for landowners. The stories of mysterious monks on mountain sides is most likely a PR tool. 1000 years ago when there was no TV or internet or newspapers what would sound better if you're trying to spread the word about a new fighting system? Me and my buddy developed this in my backyard or I was taught this magically fighting style by a blind monk who lives on the side of a mountain and if you practice enough you can shoot fireballs from your hands. The stories you hear about magic mountain monks, are no different than the legends of Hercules or Thor. All good answers here with varying details and you will find tons of books on the subject. What you can think of is the chicken and egg analogy. Eastern martial arts and Buddhism go hand in hand to the point that it's hard to figure out which came first. Wherever you find a Buddhist temple you will find monks practicing martial arts and vice versa. Their history is inherently intertwined and they fed off of each other.